In this short demonstration of Biomni's front office for net backup, I'm going to show you some of the multi-tenant uh, elements uh, and also show you an example of a, a self-service request that can be made from the Biomni portal into net backup. So first of all, let's just look at some of the multi-tenant capabilities. Um, so what I'm showing you here on the home screen at the moment would be the service provider's uh, access into the portal. You can see here that they've got access to all of the different services that they may want to offer. So as well as backup and restore, we can add in uh, other services that may be required. Also on here, we've got links to uh, things like Twitter feed, uh, to maybe some other cloud services, network services and messaging services as well. So all of your uh, self-service requests uh, and uh, uh, service catalog portal requirements can be accommodated within the Balmney portal. Uh, what we've done here also is to split out uh, the backup and restore re requests. So we've got them up here uh, and we've also uh, put them onto the home screen for easy access as well. You can see here that out of the box we're offering uh, six services. Uh, so these are for uh, new backup uh, and remove backup, uh, which will uh, add uh, machines into uh, an existing policy. Uh, and then the backups uh, will uh, uh, occur at the time set within that policy. Uh, we also offer the option to do a backup now. So rather than waiting for the uh, new backup to, to occur, we can do a backup now, which will instigate an immediate backup. Uh, then we've got the restore option. So we've got restore virtual machine uh, and restore file and folder. In this uh, uh, presentation, I'm going to show you how to do backup now, uh, but there are other uh, presentations available on our YouTube channel, uh, which will show you the uh, other services that are, are offered as well. Okay, so this is the managed uh, service provider uh, interface. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, log out of here, and I'm actually going to log in now as a couple of clients. So first of all, I'm going to log in as uh, a client called uh, Browns. When I log in uh, as them, what I'll see straight away is that the portal is presented in uh, a different color, in different theming. We're also getting some uh, information down here uh, through, the, uh, uh, through the widgets here on uh, what machines are protected and uh, unprotected. And, these would be uh, added to or, or removed uh, as we run requests uh, through the system. So you'll notice here that they're seeing their own view uh, of their own environment uh, within this view. Uh, and they've also got access to a different subset uh, of uh, all the services that, that were available. OK, I'm going to log out of this view uh, and we're now going to log in as uh, another customer uh, whose only wish is to be doing uh, self-service backup and restores. If you were to uh, initiate this from your own portal uh, and you didn't want to include other services within the Balmy portal, then it's quite likely this will be the type of landing page uh, that you would end up at. So you can see on here, we've got rid of the carousel. All we're showing them is these uh, six services here. Uh, if we want to show four or five, uh, we could restrict that and just, just show them the services uh, that are relevant to them. You'll also see down here that we have uh, access as well to their infrastructure. So it's very different to uh, what we saw under Browns. And again, we can see which machines are protected uh, and which machines are uh, unprotected on there. OK, so as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate one of these services uh, uh, now. So I'm going to go and ha have... Uh, uh, run through the process of, of backup now. Uh, so all I need to do is to come in and just uh, click onto the backup now icon. That takes me into uh, a request form. This request form is, is uh, fully configurable. So you can add uh, in any extra fields that uh, are required. If you have a specific client requirement, then you can have what we call a variant. Uh, and that can manage uh, differences between the, uh, the clients. If you wanted to uh, brand it or theme it, change the look of it completely, then all that can be done through the UI uh, as, uh, as an administrator. You'll see on here, this form is built out of a uh, header at the top with uh, a chat option that can be incorporated in if people want to uh, 
add chad in into the form as well uh, and then down the bottom we've got a header with some information and we sprinkle some information over the form as well you'll notice here then in the middle we've got the uh, request fields that need to be completed uh, and so what I'm going to do is to go and fill those out. You'll notice the ones with stars are mandatory fields, so I need to complete those. Uh, if there's a question mark to it, next to it, I can hover over that and uh, we can get some extra details on what the requirements are. So first of all here I'm going to come and select my location. Uh, so today we've got access to uh, the UK. Uh, there is another location, but it's showing up as uh, not configured. Uh, we could obviously have as many locations in here as uh, as will be required and give access uh, to the user to those. Okay, so I've selected the location. Uh, what we did then was to uh, link out uh, via our uh, adapter and actually pull back that information into uh, the request. Okay, the next thing we're going to do then is to go and select the, uh, the backup items. So again, I'm going to now go out into the infrastructure uh, via our adapter and I'm going to pull in all the information that we have on the actual infrastructure at uh, Abacus. So this would be different to uh, the Browns uh, infrastructure that we logged in and saw. This is purely linked into uh, the uh, Abacus infrastructure. So I can see here a list of all of the uh, machines. I can go down here and uh, break this out. This happens to be connected to uh, vCloud, so I can see my uh, VDC, vApp, and uh, VM. Uh, as I come down here, I can see that some of these uh, machines have got a, uh, an icon, a green icon next to them. And if I just hover over the question mark there, it'll show me that these are machines that are already protected. Uh, so if I want to now uh, add in uh, and do a backup now on uh, this particular Apache machine. Then I can go and pick that one. Uh, when I click on OK, all of the information that, that we've pulled in uh, from, uh, uh, the, from an external source is now going to be pulled into the request. So you can see what we're doing is we're building up all of the information that is required uh, when we pass it over to NetBackup in order to automate this request. Okay, so the next uh, parameter I need to select is backup retention. Uh, clearly, you can have a number of different parameters in here to manage uh, different parts of the policy, uh, but we tend to find people want to uh, restrict that as much as they can. Uh, so backup retention is, is a common one that people want to uh, select from. So if I come in here, uh, if I first of all try and select it for maybe uh, 12 months, uh, and uh, we can select that. Uh, then these other options here, if I want to do uh, replication of that backup, then I could come in here and go and select uh, another uh, location and uh, have replication going into that location as well. Uh, and then uh, and we won't select that on this request. We'll keep it simple. Uh, on this one, then if I want to put some reference in uh, for... Uh, this particular request so I can just keep a track of it then we can put that in there and if I've got any additional comments I can add those in as well. As I said this form is very very easy to uh, to come in and change to add uh, any extra fields that you you may require from your customer. Okay so let's go, go up and uh, actually submit this request uh, and because I selected the backup retention of uh, 12 months uh, what I've done is I've put in some extra approval on this request. So if anybody comes in uh, and decides they want to have uh, backup retention of 12 months, which is obviously quite a long time, then what we can do is we can put that through uh, an approval process. Uh, in this case, I've just got an example where it's going to go to a line manager first, uh, and then in parallel, we're going to send it off to a backup control group and a change control person. Uh, obviously, you can design in whatever uh, approval uh, you required. It's very easy to uh, make this up and uh, add it into uh, our approval matrix. I'm just going to cancel out of that now and decide, uh, actually, I don't really want to go through approval. So I'm going to go and select a lower retention level of one month. Uh, and this time when I uh, submit on the request, it's not going to ask me for any approval. It's going to allow me to uh, submit that request all the way through. Uh, and uh, it's going to start doing the backup now.
So what's happening at this stage then is that we're now uh, passed into uh, our fulfillment uh, tab. Uh, and in here, what we're doing is we're setting out the different steps uh, that are going to happen to that particular request. So first of all, we're going to go and uh, start the backup. So this is using, again, a, a BOMI adapter to that backup uh, to go off and uh, initiate that uh, uh, that backup in that backup. What we're doing is we're taking all of the information that we filled out in the form, so all of the uh, location and machine information, uh, we're converting that into something that can be understood by net backup, uh, and net backup will then go and run the command. As it's running that backup, what we'll then do is uh, we'll monitor it, so we'll keep polling it to see how, how the backup is progressing. And depending on whether it's a successful or, or an unsuccessful backup, uh, we'll then send out an email and then we'll complete that request. Uh, so if I go back up to here, this is all happening now in uh, real time. So if I click on refresh, you can see now that we've initiated the process to start the backup. And now what we're doing is we're polling it uh, to see how the backup is progressing. You can see now the request status is into uh, backup now. And uh, when, when that is completed, the request will complete and an email will be sent out. I'm just going to go and have a look at the request area then, just so that we can see that request as, as to how we would view it. Uh, so if I come into my list of uh, uh, backup nows that I've done recently, uh, you can see there's three that are, are actually complete. Uh, and there's the uh, one that we've just started now. You can see our, our reference in there so we can track it. And at any time I could come in and just see the progress of that. Uh, and also, as I say, once it's complete, I'll get an email. Okay, there are uh, other videos on our YouTube channel uh, to cover any of the uh, other requests that, that are uh, uh, covered here. So uh, pl please go and have a look at those. If you have any other, inf uh, any other questions or uh, uh, want, want to see more information about Biomni, then please go to uh, www.biomni.com. Uh, thank you.